Hello, my name's Mel, welcome to my world, and for those of you that are new to my channel, it's all about self-built DIY camper vans and camper van related stuff. So if that's something that interests you, then please do consider subscribing to my channel. Now today, I'm going to take some preventive measures to ensure that I don't set my pride and joy on fire. So today I've got a little bit of a problem. I've realized, and actually I didn't realize until some of you guys pointed it out to me. You were very quick to notice that when I fitted my gas hob, I'll just bring you down here so you can see. When I fitted my gas hob, quite a few people commented that the flames or the heat from my gas hob may melt the plastic coating on my glass. And not only that, when I draw my curtains, allow me to demonstrate, the curtain does become quite a fire hazard to say the least so if I want to cook an evening meal in privacy so nobody can see inside obviously when you've got the lights on inside the van people outside can see inside despite being tinted glass yeah it's just a bit of a fire risk so a couple of subscribers suggested that I fit a lid that lifts up and becomes a backsplash so that's what i'm going to do today and it just so happens i found this piece of manky old checkered plate aluminium plate as you can see it's not in the best of condition but it was a bit longer than this i've cut a bit off just to see how it would look and i think if i can clean this up and make it look all nice and new and shiny again or should i just go and buy a new bit I'll, I'll try and see what this looks like. I'll, I'll see how good I can clean it up. If I can't clean it up, then I'll have to go and buy something else. But as you can see, it will fit quite well and it will lift up and it'll make a good splash guard and also stop my curtain catching fire, hopefully. <laughs> so this is what I'm going to do today. Now the only problem I've got, my little rail at the back here, um, it gets in the way so this has got to come off so to take this off i need to strip the whole top off because it's screwed up from underneath so uh before i do that though before i take all this off i'm going to clean this up i'm going to put a piece of timber on here so it'll be stepped i mean i'm sure i'm pretty sure i've got some piano hinge somewhere so the hinge will be hidden we'll see <laughs> bear with me <laughs> it could be a long day Hopefully not the long video though. Now to clean this manky old piece of checkered plate, I'm simply going to use a zip wheel on my angle grinder. And uh, I've done this before because this I had two pieces of this checkered plate left over from my LDV Maxus. And uh, here's a piece that I cleaned earlier. Well, I cleaned this from my cubic mini wood stove. I stood my wood stove on top of this, but um, decided to take it off in the end didn't use it so I know it cleans up really well so that's what I'm going to do now I'm get me safety gloves on get me safety goggles on change this blade and then clean it all up I'm not going to film it though because uh, yeah I don't want to make that mistake I don't want to ruin my lens on my camera so that manky old bit of checkered plate now looks quite nifty it's cleaned up really well as you can see I don't know if I need to lacquer it or anything like that. Maybe I'll just leave it as it is. But yeah, this is what it's going to look like. Now I will try and get some kind of edging trim on there. Maybe I'll round these corners off as well. But there you go. That's the only thing though. It will only open up that far because of this back rail. Now I just want to say thank you to everybody that suggested I use this back rail as part of the hinge. But unfortunately, it won't work because it's too far back and this piece of aluminium checker plate isn't quite wide enough so yeah it's gonna have to go i'm afraid which means i've got to take all this apart to t unscrew it yeah, unless i get angle grind and cut it no i don't want to do that i'm gonna have to take it all apart all right so we're getting now it's gonna sit like that and what i'll do i'll put some soft soft pads underneath here so that it doesn't rattle on top of the the grid 
Yeah, I think that's going to look all right. I'll try my round off the corners, put a bit of edging trim on it. Brilliant, that's going to be fine, I think. Right, next stage, take the railing off. to remove all this is because there are three screws underneath on the end of this um, holding it down so yeah I had to disconnect all that luckily I didn't have to disconnect the wires it's just a matter of unscrewing it all I guess this is what happens when you don't plan stuff like when you don't make drawings and you just make it up as you go along like I am I'm just making this up as I go along this van so uh, stuff like this is bound to happen but if you draw stuff out on a computer or even on a piece of paper and plan it accurately before you build it then uh, hopefully you don't come across this sort of scenario but this is the way I do things it's the way I like it make things up as I go so I guess that's how I have to put up with Oh, look at this. This is going to work fine. Look at that. That's going to be pucker, that is. Now, all I need to do is get some hinges for it. And I'm sure, I'm pretty sure, I've got a piece of piano hinge left over from my last van build. And I reckon it's about that long as well. I just don't know where I've put it. I think it might be my lockup. So uh, I'm going to have to go down to my lockup and have a look, see if I can find it. If not, it means I'm going to have to go to B&Q or somewhere like that. Or even order it online, I suppose. I don't see why not, eh? Really. But yeah, time I put a bit of trim around that. I'm gonna round these corners off, put some trim around it, piano hinge. Yeah, that'd be pucker that. Stain this wood as well. Yeah, I'm gonna stain this wood before the day's out. Get this wood stained, and then tomorrow I'll go and see if I can find some piano hinge. Brilliant. I'm really pleased with that. Absolutely fantastic. Well, I've searched high, I've searched low, I've looked here, I've looked there, I can't find those hinges anywhere. <laughs> so rather than queue up at B&Q or another DIY store for three or four hours just for a hinge, I decided to buy them online. So I went on eBay, hey presto, hinges perfect for this little lid uh, for three quid. So yeah, what's the point of queuing up? So I've ordered them online, they should be here in a couple of days, but that didn't hinder me from finishing off my top work top work lid fire guard splash guard what would you call it i don't know piece of crap maybe anyway there you go it's all been made out of stuff that i would have otherwise thrown away i'm quite pleased with that and as you can see i've rounded off the corners i think i mentioned that once or twice i was going to round the corners off and put some trim on it incidentally this trim is left over from when i fitted my side windows so um yeah well basically i didn't use it so i'm glad i didn't use it because i've used it on this and i think that looks pretty cool i'm quite pleased with that and i've stained my piece of wood as well which by the way this piece of wood was left over from when i did my cupboards so literally this is made out of leftovers so uh yeah it always pays to keep stuff rather than throw it away so let's put it in place and I'll show you what it looks like, what it looks like. So there you go, that's what it looks like. Now the nice thing about this I've realised is it's just the right height. As you can see I'm standing upright and I can work on here, I can do stuff. If I've got something I want to take apart or tinker with, like a bit of soldering or fixing, it's, I can put it on here, it's not going to roll off because it's checkered plate. Um, yeah, stuff isn't going to roll away. and. I can put G clamps on it. I could even put a little vice on there if I wanted to. <laughs> so yeah, I'm really pleased. But the main purpose of this is that when I want to make my coffee in the morning, I can lift it up like that. I can light my flame. I know I'm not going to catch light to my curtain because my curtain comes around the back here. It might get a little bit dark. I'll just show you what it looks like. Oh, mine cup smell. <laughs> so there you go. It's going to hold the curtain away. I can put my coffee on. And it's not going to catch fire to my curtain and that's the main thing about it and these little pads by the way you might have spotted those they line up with these and that's going to stop it rattling when i drive well only two days later and my hinges have turned up 
and look at that it works absolutely perfect exactly how I thought it would and as you can see by the little splashes on the back it works it does actually do what it's supposed to do it stops any splashes going on my glass or on my curtain but most importantly it should ensure that when I cook with my curtains closed the van doesn't catch fire so there's a bonus there you are and I'm pleased to say these little pads work perfect they stop it rattling it doesn't rattle whatsoever so uh, all in all quite a success so there you go if you found this video mildly entertaining or even informative then please do give me the thumbs up don't forget if you are new to my channel please do consider subscribing and by subscribing to my channel you help me feed the cat and I've got two and they're both hungry thanks for watching ta for now I've ordered some in hinges hinges that self-built DIY camper van, that is camper van, you know.